Kids are spending in front of a screen has increased exponentially since the pandemic hit, and many kids are getting a portion of their education and some all of their education online. You add to that the typical gaming and socializing kids do online, and that's a lot of screen time. In this segment of Raising North Dakota, we'll hear from a local doctor and a mom on the subject. Um, and I was worried about how much time they were getting at first, too, just because it seemed like they were on it an awful lot. Retha Mattern is referring to how much time her kids spend in front of a screen for distance learning, and she isn't alone. There have been rumblings of concern among parent groups across the nation over the amount of screen time our kids are getting these days. You can definitely tell that it, it impacts behavior for sure. Um, trying to get a an eight-year-old away from her tablet after two hours of watching, you know, JoJo videos or something is just a little bit ridiculous, but we also know that she really needs a break because she's acting that way. Local pediatrician Dr. Steve McDonough says the disruption in children's routines has had a tremendous impact on children's physical and mental health. And I've seen a number just in my own practice that have really had a serious de deterioration of mental health and we've had to work hard to assist them and the families to, to get through this. So how do we help our children get through these unprecedented times? So you have to have a proper balance. And uh, if you spend too much time uh, doing distance learning and then you're on the, you're doing gaming afterwards and you're not exercising, that's uh, not a good recipe for a good health. McDonough says that not only does physical activity improve overall physical health, but it also releases endorphins that help to minimize anxiety and stress. Mattern says she's made daily exercise and activity a priority for her family. Normally they get along really well, which has been helpful. Um, so when they start you know, picking at each other, then we know, okay, you need some fresh air, you need some outside activity. When it comes to finding the right balance, McDonough recommends 20 to 30 minutes of screen time and then an activity break for elementary aged kids. And for older kids, use the 20-20-20 approach, which means for every 20 minutes of screen time, look at something 20 feet away for 20 seconds. Ultimately, the right approach just depends on the child. And finding the right approach is not always easy. It's hard. It's hard on us as parents. I'm sure it's even harder on them as teachers trying to, to set everything up and then to have to worry about how much time the kid is sitting in front of a screen while they're doing this. You know, I feel like my job as the, as the parent is to make sure that the schoolwork is done in balance with everything else when it comes to the screen time. Parents need to be flexible and be positive. Uh, hopefully we can get through the next six months and this will hopefully be beyond us then. Now, when it comes to how much screen time to allow outside of school, Dr. McDonough does not recommend eliminating it, but to just make it shorter increments. And he stresses the importance of mixing that with plenty of physical activity to keep your child's overall health yeah. well. So. It's amazing how much, you know, one thing can throw people off. Absolutely. Our, ki our children, of course, uh, sure. got to gotta take all the precautions to remain healthy. That's right. All right. Well, a new job opening could help bring some much needed health.